Nobody can sneak and get in this pantry, right? Yeah, I know, it squeaks. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. What I'm doing today is sharing some of the areas in my kitchen that are actually working for us. Um, some of you, I asked if any of you wanted to see those areas and some of you said yes, you would. And actually, to be honest, I already recorded this once and when I went to edit it, everything was shaky. So I realized that somehow the stabilizer in my camera had gotten turned off and it was like a uh, busy town. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna try to record everything again. So I apologize. Sorry, I apologize for that too. But I apologize because I'm gonna have to do it again. Hopefully I'll uh, show you <laughs> as well as I did the first time because it wasn't too bad, but that's okay. That's okay, we're just gonna wing it, right? But this is my pantry, and this is one of the areas that works out nicely for me. Um, I've overhauled it two or three times. Um, one of the things that um, I have is, this is the little place where Hubby's uh, Pop-Tarts go. What he does when he opens up the box is he always puts it back up in that tray right there. But that's where the stuff that hasn't been opened goes. That's a me thing. I don't expect him to remember it. So when I see that the box has been opened, I just put the Pop-Tarts in here where they go. That's Pumpkin. He's saying hello. Pumpkin. There's no, no, that's the garage. You don't need to go out there. You want to say hello? Say hello. This is why when you have cats, you always have to wash your counters. You can't just cook. <laughs> you have to clean first. Um, anyway, the rest of what's in here, so the top shelf has things like paper towels and cups and stuff like that. I don't use the cups very often. The paper towels, I have to get the step stool to get down paper towels, but at least they're there. And one of the things, even if you've got a space that is working for you, it doesn't mean you don't have to maintain it. And it doesn't mean you might not have something you want to get rid of. Right up there, you see that thing tipped over sideways, that kind of long tray? That is actually a silverware tray that was in the drawer here when we moved in the house. And it didn't work well for me, so I stuck it up there and I thought, well, I don't want to get rid of it because if we ever move, maybe the new homeowners would want it. Now I'm thinking, why am I hanging on to that? One, we may live here until we die. And two, um, maybe they don't want it either, so... If they want one, they can get one when they move in here, right? They might redo the whole kitchen for all I know. So I'm not going to worry about it anymore. And so next time I have a tiny, tiny tidy or around the house declutter, that thing is going to get pulled out of there. I would do it now, but I have to get the step ladder, and I don't want to do that. So also, let's see. This shelf has, um, these two trays have things that are not opened. And as you can see, I have a couple extra trays. So if I need them, I can pull them out of there easily. And then this area, um, if I need to put anything here, I do. But that is a pretty tray that I have, and it's just one of my happies. Every time I open my pantry, I can see it. And then this box of cereal is open. Um, normally the open cereal goes down here, but there's not enough room for it to go down here as well. And that's okay. So I have Hubby's sugar, his mashed potatoes, and his cereal is sitting here easy for him to grab and um, this tray has soup in it and there's a little soup over here too because hubby bought extra when he was at the store one time at this point I can go ahead and move some of it back over here I just have to not move it too far to the front because there's a can opener right here above it and uh, let's see so this tray normally just has my salmon and tuna and stuff in it and then that one back there has the uh, vegetables and also beans. So that works out well. Hubby doesn't do most of the cooking um, and he doesn't eat vegetables or beans or salmon or tuna or any of that stuff. That's mostly my stuff back there. And then down here, um, he has his potato chips um, in that bin. And then we have a ton of mac and cheese. Um, they changed something in the mac and cheese and so uh, hubby had bought some and then we didn't like the new way it was and so he bought another brand and we didn't like that one either so it's just been kind of sitting there we haven't been using it so i'm going to ask him if he um 
wants to just donate it to a pantry or if we're going to eat it up because otherwise it's just sitting here taking up space and we don't need to do that right um this little under the shelf thing um, inside of here i have just a few little baking things there's some chocolate chips and some cupcake um holder things in there and then i have a flashlight if i need to grab one there's not a light in here um and then this is uh this is the peanut butter that's open and hubby got some cashews the other day so i put them in one of the mason jars and he has an open can of pringles and then this is where the other mason jars with sugar in it are and then when this one is empty i'll just put another one of those up and then i'll wash that one and then put it here just like i did that one there and so that works out very well that's a new thing but it's working out very well and then these are the uh, things that have not been opened that are like jarred type things so everything goes in a tray and that makes it easy for me to keep things categorized it gives me a little bit of extra room out from where the shelf is actually too which works out and then down here that bench allows me to keep things off of the floor that's the um, cat food and then this bin thing here um, I have a plastic uh, bin that has the potatoes in it I have some trash uh, can liners and some paper uh, bags and if I need to pull this out I can but that makes it easy to access the potatoes and also allows them the air that they need to breathe and then there's the door and you may have seen in my other videos where I've been doing the cat food thing into the mason jars and we, we have one more cat food uh, dry cat food one filled there you see these have all been used and washed and put back up there and when let's see down here not make you too dizzy um, when this one gets empty I'll put that other one down we can wash them out and then we can refill the mason jars with the cat food that is right there and let's see also in here I have salt pepper cinnamon and I think I have some turmeric in here that's all I have I don't really have spices and then this is sugar if we want to pull it out and have some with a spoon or whatever um, not not eat it with a spoon but you know what I mean if I want to dip a spoon into it and put some out and then this is uh, hubby knows to put his um, skyline crackers there when he brings them home and he's also got some ketchup in here from a restaurant and this little thing um, is where we put extra like little treats if you have like a little candy bar or cookies or whatever in a little package those would go in there and this is where the things go for the cats that we use regularly through the day and they have another one of these jars that goes over here um, it's in the uh, it's it's dirty so it's in the pan to be washed and then there's their cat food the canned cat food and the other um, things that I keep here in the pantry but that works out really nicely everything stays organized and you know I don't care if hubby puts things in there in the wrong place I can see very quickly what is out of place and I can move it over to the right spot very easily so that works out very well for both of us today it's looking good neat and tidy organized bins on every shelf keep the contents categorized but that's not how it's always been it used to overflow until I tidied up a bit and let the excess go still it fell in disarray it tended toward a mess I tidied up again then I tweaked and reassessed I simplified I minimized I found what works today but tomorrow always comes with change and finds another way what you doing pumpkin yeah. Are you going to declutter some stuff? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>